everything, rebuilding together, building together, learning together, entrepreneurship, bringing awareness to today's news, today's culture, today's content, today's society, I guess so, if I'm going to say that, lack of a better term, but basically awareness on things that people we need to know. Today's vlog, like, I mean, today's vlog is basically about, today's vlog, I'm basically gonna start my reaction, you know what I'm saying? First I'm gonna say, first I'm gonna say Happy New Year's to everybody, Happy Holidays, hope you had a good and prosperous Christmas, hope you have a more righteous New Year's, you know what I'm saying, it's a new year, Thank, I hope everybody is blessed and healthy for 2021, you know what I mean? Thank God, you know what I mean? Thank God we got through 2020, the people that are dead and the people that's in heaven now. You know what I'm saying? The kings and queens. But, now that I got that out the way. This video. Uh, I'm making this video. This is a. Uh, first reaction video and this did this did this but in particular I'm not really doing just in, in, any reaction videos my reaction video is going to be about the learning aspect of bringing awareness to skills and uh, 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 the execution on things and, and, and the business part about it I just don't want to be behind the scenes I want to bring people that 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 want to be attracted in a certain way and, 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 and I want them to learn bring awareness right I want to bring awareness to that so th these reaction videos that I'm doing is basically going to be business reaction videos it's going to be a little bit of mixed in with um, rapping too because I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm into music so I already know what's going on with that but if you like if you Subscribe to my channel already. Keep subscribing. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Knowledge is key and knowledge is it and everybody is able to share it. So, you know, keep sharing the knowledge, positive energy, activates constant elevation. And without further ado, my first reaction video, Smithers Gang. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And whatever you do, make sure you click that notification bell. Have those ideas and think, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. But it's not just the idea. Ideas are simple and, and, and they're not hard to come up with. It's it's execution and distribution and monetization of that idea. Oh yeah, definitely ads and monetization. Gotta get freaky with that. Gotta know what that's about. Gotta know the ins and outs. Cause I'm pretty sure it's YouTubers out there. It's business. It's people that use YouTube that 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 get paid off they ads advertisement period big business any and I I'm glad I'm learning this at the same time having monetization it's like so many things I want to say already in this but I'm thinking about it now in my head I'm gonna let it go my media group I started from my dining room table in summer of 93 and I started you know calling and all of these television stations and putting on a special and then that special became a once a week show and I literally called all 1300 commercial television stations and asked them to carry my once a week one hour show for free entertainment there's 14 minutes of commercial time I would like for you to keep seven minutes sell your seven minutes to local advertisers local car dealers banks supermarkets and I will sell my seven minutes to national advertisers and so it's a barter arrangement and literally I got about 50 no's uh, from every television station and after about 40 or 50,000 no's I was able to squeeze out 150 yeses and I had a TV station in about 150 markets that said yes and that was my lineup and that took me a year and from sun up to sun down to do that and that I literally wore holes in my dining room chairs to get that done and my home went in and out of foreclosure probably 14 times over a five-year period 
Uh, there were days I didn't eat. There were days I was calling people from a payphone because I, they turned my phone off. And uh, I just kept smiling and dialing. And finally, I, I, I sat down with all the heads of the movie studios. And I said, listen, you, you guys are spending 200 to 600 million a year each um, promoting these movies, you know, you know, buying commercials, go see this movie, go see this movie. And I said, I'm having your movie stars on and I'm running clips and movie trailers from your movies. I'm basically a one hour commercial for you to tell people to go to your movies. Why don't you spend a little bit of money on me out of your 200 to 600 million a year in ad expenditures so I can be there to support you. Well, I ended up signing up all the movie studios. And once I solidified the movie industry, I was able to go on the road and, and uh, you know, eat regularly and pay my phone bill. And, and I just went industry by industry. And I went and I sat down with, you know, the fast food uh, companies and soft drinks and packaged goods and automotive pharmaceuticals. And I would sit down with, you know, board members or chief marketing officers, chairmen, CEOs, whoever would talk to me, the receptionist. And I was able to sign up more industries and more advertisers. And once I was able to solidify you know, relationships with uh, quite a few advertisers, I then kept smiling and dialing and adding another show, another show and more advertisers and another show and more advertisers. And I quickly learned the value of, of content. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna take all the, in, all the athletes that I've interviewed and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, you know, separate them from the movie stars and the TV stars and just do a one hour special interviewing the athletes. And I had some terrific interviews with athletes. Um, so I, I called up the TV stations and I said, I sitting on the shelf, those interviews were collecting dust on the shelf. And I was able to put that special together for less than $20,000 um, because it was just a matter of editing and putting it on a satellite to get to the TV stations. I ended up selling the ad time in that special, which cost 20 grand for over a million dollars. Stop smiling and dialing. I read in the New York Times that you know that the Verizon was going to invest twenty-three billion dollars in in bill channels to pump for our networks. I see you're going to offer 150 of them. I'd like to offer you 10 of them. And they said, listen, you know, we're not going to give you 10 networks. We're going to give you six networks. And with a stroke of a pen, we made history and launched six 24-hour HD networks. And because I did that. Um, I was in business with a company um, that satellites 24-hour networks, and they do it for quite a few people. And the guy who runs the company, um, he and I, he, he came to me, he said, he was out of Atlanta, he said, can we have dinner? And I said, sure. So we're sitting at dinner one night, and he says to me, you know, you don't know this, but before I was the chairman and CEO of this company that satellites 24-hour cable networks, including mine, um, he said, and by the way, I, I ended up launching a seventh network with Verizon, which was our 24 hour court network. So I had seven networks at the time. And he came to me and he said, um, before I was running this satellite company to deliver 24 hour cable networks like yours, he goes, I used to be the chief operating officer of the Weather Channel. And uh, he said, it's always 80 degrees and sunny. And he goes, but the Weather Channel is a great business. And he goes, the way you think, the way you operate, he goes, you really approach things differently. You look at things in a unique way. And he goes, you're, you're an owner operator, which is rare in this business. And he said, you should buy the Weather Channel. You would do a great job uh, running that and owning that. And I thought, wow, you know what? I don't think about the Weather Channel. And I got into it uh, and I checked on it and I ended up being the winning bid. And, and, I, and, and buying the Weather Channel, I felt was, was pivotal. Owning the Weather Channel sent a unique message because it's the first time an African-American in this country has owned a mainstream news outlet in America. And then I went on to buy big four network affiliates around the country, ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox affiliates. 
And unfortunately, I'm the only African-American to own those, but also I wanted to send that same message that we're producing national news and local news and we're doing. It.